Okay, so here's the thing. I have a lot of coworkers who have to start creating videos as part of their job. And the thing that I hear the most often is it's also overwhelming and I don't even know where to start. So in this series of videos, we're going to talk about the Camtasia editing software and I'm gonna break it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. So hopefully it's a little less overwhelming. So let's jump into today's topic and learn about how to properly record your screen to set a solid foundation for everything else that we'll cover in later videos. The first thing we're gonna do is open Camtasia and you will be taken to this getting started menu. You can select new recording and this allows you to quickly start a brand new recording and then save it wherever you want to. My personal preference is to choose new projects so that I can organize all of my clips right up front so that I don't have a hard time finding them later. The Camtasia editor is now open and I can go to file, save as, and then choose where I want to save my project. In this case, I'm just gonna drop it in my YouTube videos folder and then give it a name. And now we are ready to click the record button and start capturing our footage for the very first time in Camtasia. The screen capture tool will open and here you can set up your preferences. By default, Camtasia is going to try to capture the entire window. Now I have two monitors, so I need to make sure that I select the correct one. You also have the option to choose a custom region or use some of the presets. I personally find it easier just to record the whole screen and change the size in editing. The setting that I notice that needs the most attention is the microphone. Because I have a webcam and a dedicated microphone, occasionally Camtasia will pick up the wrong one. So always double check to make sure you get the audio quality you want. Next, you can choose whether or not to capture system audio, which is things like notification sounds coming from your software. I personally leave this turned off to minimize distractions in my audio. Before you press record, I suggest that you go to the tools and double check your preferences. For example, on the general tab, these are all selected by default, and I know that some people don't like to have the countdown as they start their recording. In many of my videos, I say that there's no right or wrong to how you set up your preferences. In this case, I am going to strongly suggest that you go to the files tab and change it from automatic file name to prompt for file name. The automatic file names are very generic and you cannot change them in the media bin very easily. If you prompt for file name, you can give the file a name that makes sense to you and this will help improve your editing process as you're sorting through multiple clips. As part of the recording process, a quick tip that I would like to share with you is that when you open your windows, I would click on F11 on the keyboard to put the window into a full screen mode. What this is going to do is it's going to hide the toolbar and the URL at the top. This minimizes distractions for your viewer. Now we're done recording our sample file. Notice that the clip automatically went to the media bin and because this is the first clip, it automatically added itself to the timeline as well. Another tip I have for you as you start working with your clips is to go to the timeline, right click and separate the audio from the video. This will allow you to edit them independently of each other. So for example, I tend to stutter a lot when I'm recording for the first time, so I can isolate the area that I want to remove. Select just track two, and then I'll use the keyboard shortcut of S to split the audio file and just the spot that I want to remove so that I can delete that portion where I stuttered and then re-record it using voice narration. One important thing to keep in mind is that the file in the media bin is not impacted by the edits you're making in the timeline. So if you ever feel like you've made too many changes, you can easily start over if needed. This is the first video in a planned series about editing in Camtasia. As I create more videos, they will be added to the playlist that is showing on the screen now. The videos can be watched in any order that you like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.